everyone what's up welcome back this week we are going to be doing all blue eyeshadow looks today we are going to be starting out with a nice graphic liner i feel like this is a good little intro to graphic liner because i don't really play around with that all that much so this one has like simple eyeshadow with a little pop of blue for liner and yeah i don't know <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started with complexion. Okay, for the skin, I want it to be very radiant and skin-like. So I'm gonna start off with the Auric Glow Lust, and I wanna use this as a base all over my face. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Bear With Me. This is gonna give a really nice, smooth overall appearance to any areas that I feel need a little touching up, and it's also hydrating, so it's not gonna look dry underneath my eyes for bronzer I'm gonna go in with a cream because I want to remain with a more natural finish to the skin for blush I'm gonna be going in with the LA girl soft matte cream blush this is a game changer oh my god I fell in love with it in my last video and it is so so stunning and I think this color specifically is just absolutely beautiful Next up, I'm going to lightly set the center of my face with a pressed powder. I'm taking a little bit of highlight on the center of my nose. Looking at the skin, I am very happy with it right now. I think that it still is giving, you know, dimension to my face and a bit more life, but it looks very, very natural. Like, you can't really detect it when you look close on my skin, and that's what I wanted to achieve for that, so... I'm gonna stop here because I feel like if I keep going then it's gonna look cakey and I do not want that okay so for the base of my lid I think I'm just gonna go in with the same blush I used because it kind of matches perfectly so let's see how this does on our lids so I'm just gonna begin patting it first and then blending it out that looks so nice. I am going to go ahead and set it with a blush that relatively matches this shade. Just so that I can hopefully prevent any creasing. Wow, honestly, that on its own looks so nice. I think I'm definitely going to be using that just on its own. Because, oh my god, that looks so, so cool. For the graphic liner, I'm going to use this matte Danessa Myricks color fix in the shade Beaches. These are incredible, okay? And I definitely don't use them as much as I would like to. I am going to try to just follow the exact same liner in the photo. God, I just got nervous because I'm looking at the image and I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I can, but I just got to believe. These lines are definitely thick, way thicker than I wanted, but I think I kind of have the motion down. So let's hope that this side goes much better. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. <laughs> okay, you guys, I am back. I'm not mad at what is going on. I definitely think I could get these lines a lot cleaner, but for a first go, I'm not, I'm not mad at it, you know? But yeah, I mean like, it's a cool look right? If I just executed it a little better. <laughs> Let me go ahead and take some blue shadow on the lower lash line. I added some black liner because I feel like I'm just more comfortable with that. <laughs> just gonna add some highlight to my brow bone and the inner corners. This is the final makeup look. You guys, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I think I did a decent job it was definitely challenging just for me because like I stay being hella shaky and like it's just the whole thing but yeah I'm I'm not mad at it so that is all I have for you guys today we still have a couple more videos left in this whole little color story category but yeah that's all you guys so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it please take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one bye does that make sense? Mad. Ah! Oh lord. I oh my god, I just got that on my girl. Oh, I did not turn this off. Okay.